Mark it in your calendars. Prince Harry's Tell All Memoir Spare will be hitting shelves on the 10th of January. The 400-page book, which costs 28 quid, is already available to pre-order after being pushed back from its expected autumn release following the death of Queen Elizabeth. Harry's memoir has been given quite a sensational description by his publisher, and I'm going to give it my very best Hollywood trailer voice. Roll the music. <laughs> <coughs> With its raw, <laughs> unflinching honesty, nice. Spare is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. Grief, grief, grief. <laughs> grief. <laughs> Thank you. That is actually the real blurb, by the way. I didn't make you make that up. Is it really? It really yeah. is. Oh well God. worth 28 quid, I'd it's say. Worse. So who here is going to be rushing out to buy it? I'm going to buy it as a late Christmas present for Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. He's going to really, really enjoy reading oh, that. I really will. On yeah. January the 10th. I mean, there are so many issues here. £28 is a vast amount of money. It's Particularly in January when you go into a bookshop and all the books are heavily, heavily discounted. You know that'll be two-for-one deal, surely. There, there will be. <laughs> yeah. And it is, it is clearly going to be full of therapy speak and it's going, it is not going to appeal to a wide British audience, mm. but I think it will appeal to the American audience, which we know is the audience that, that, you know, that Harry and Meghan are really targeting. It's got to sell... Huge numbers. I mean, 100 million people watched the Oprah interview. So if they can get a fraction of that number to, to buy the mm. book, then they might get their money back. They will be selling the film rights and, and all of that. It will be well written because the ghostwriter has got a million dollars for writing it. There are, but there are so many difficult elements. Obviously, the damage it might do if it's too rude about mm -hmm. Charles and Camilla. Mm. But I suspect it will be very vanilla by the time it actually comes to publication and will be quite dull. Oh. There's, a, there's a statement um, which was released by the publisher at the time. The Duke said that the memoir would be a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He's worn lots of Sorry. hats. <laughs> I know. I, I like the fact that you oh, said both don't literally. Don't need to say literally. Both literally <laughs> and figuratively, bless. Um, and my mm. hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think, including a lot of hats. I love a hat. I but it's not hats. figuratively. It's metaphorically, isn't it? Oh, they're getting oh. Louise, aren't we? Picking at houses. <laughs> <But> no, <laughs> to be the fair, Pendant's result. I know, I know it's quite like me to uh, <laughs> defend Harry. He's worn lots of hats in the military. I'm sure it was a nod to that, wasn't I it? I know. And I think that this is... I think it's going to be an interesting memoir. I think the most important thing um, is that it is in his own words because he's been spoken for on both sides. Mm -hmm. A number of times people like us have spoken in defence of him going, well, I don't actually know if he would agree with yeah. that in himself. You know, I think it will be an interesting book for people who have gone through family trauma. We all watched him walk behind his mum's coffin when he was a child and I think it would be poignant to understand that journey that he's gone on. You know, he's called himself Spare, not Heir, because his, mm. his brother, obviously, is the heir. And, and that position of being one of the, if not the most privileged, privileged men in the country, but still not good enough by birth to be king. I, like, but I think, um, he, he, you know, he's got every right to write this book, but we know the process. We know what's happened. It was supposed to come out next month, and it... By all accounts, it was a no hold barred sort of attack on various members of his family, uh -huh. particularly his dad. Uh, so that was going to be a very entertaining read. They came over, of course, the Queen sadly died. Uh, Harry and Meghan came over for the funeral, and clearly they completely recalibrated the way they felt about the royal family and the way they thought they ought to treat the royal family. So this book has been watered down. It's, to, it's been changed from this no-holds-barred attack to, the sto to his journey. Uh, I think it's called From Trauma to Healing. Mm. Uh, now, you know, OK, I mean, to my mind, that sounds like uh, watching paint dry. It sounds so <laughs> Kevin. boring. It does. It sounds oh, incredibly, Kevin, incredibly boring. Who hurt you, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> who hurt you? Who, who, yeah. 
How, how can, can we you heal you tonight? Yeah. I have no feeling. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've, I've never, think, you know, I've never suffered I any don't think mental they're, health they're, problems. They're, yeah, the book purely because of them taking stuff out. I think it's a shrewd move by the publisher because they've got the crown, so interest yeah. builds yeah. around that. Then the documentary from Netflix is in December. Mm. Um, from them, mm. again, more interest, more interest, and then January. They're at fever pitch then for people to be like, now I've got to see what Harry says for himself. Yeah, but also, do you wonder though about the fact that I mean, who, who said it was going to be vanilla? Do you thought it was going to be vanilla? I agree you with do, Daisy on that. And, and also, do you not think it's because the thing that he's got going for him in America is that he's part of the royal family? Now, okay, nobody can take the, 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 away that yeah. fact, but the, but but you, what they, he will be wanting, he's got. You know, he's got children now. Surely he'd be wanting to be part of the family. I know it's a sort of bit of a fractured family, right, but you yeah. know, but they've got the he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be too market. nasty about the world. But when you say <laughs> it's a shrewd markets. move to uh, release a book in January, nobody wants to release the book in January. You want to get the Christmas market. This has been <laughs> delayed. That's the problem, and it's been watered down. And it does sound to me t like. Tedium in There was one right. thing that I thought was really interesting about the statement from the publisher today, because <laughs> when we originally heard about the book deal and we, it was rumoured that he was getting an, uh, 20 million dollars and then his people put out quite a sort of um, opaque statement saying that the proceeds were going to charity and a lot of people assumed that that meant all, all the proceeds the and I was told at the time this will not be all this is a weasel words and we now know it's 1.3 million dollars to Centre Bali his charity and 300,000 pounds to Wellchild uh, the yeah. UK based charity that leaves an awful lot yeah, yeah. of money that is going straight into his pocket which I think mm. is really relevant when people say oh it's all for charity it's yeah. not, no, it's but not. I